Good afternoon, dear viewers. It's been a while since they entrusted me with a microphone, but now it has happened. Today is the 25th of January 2022. And we are on the second floor of the production building that is being constructed. The building belonging to Savalmash company. What has happened in the recent days since the last video prepared by Alexander Sudarev? There have been some changes. Behind me you see the anti-fire wall and you see that it is now reaching the second floor and just a couple more meters are left until it is completed, until it reaches the height according to the design. To the left from me you see a shaft, lift shafts and flights of stairs. And there you see that the lid of that shaft has already been poured and now there is heating of concrete. This part of work is completed. And actually we could start closing the roofing of the administrative building. Because this anti-fire wall is the last thing which remains. And this is the gap of the roof, the spot we are on now. And this is the last fragment which has not been poured. This is the second floor. To the right from me, you see a shaft of a flight of stairs, where it gets to the roof. There is foam work set there now. It is set there for pouring concrete. They are just last remaining things concerning this shaft. And then we will be able to say that work concerning shafts of lifts and flights of stairs will have been completed. And now let's move to another spot. We are now on a different spot. What is it? We are on the second floor of the administrative building. As of today, we see that the bridging is covered with mats. Behind me there is a platform where cables are put, cables for heating concrete, and then there are diversions. It means that the bridgings of the second floor have been poured and now there is electric heating of them. The last bridging of the administrative building has been completed. The main work concerning concrete has been completed. Behind me you see a shaft of flights of stairs and of lifts. And you can see that on top of it there is foam work as well. You can see cables which lead to heating elements, heating cables which are in the body of concrete and there is heating of concrete going on. And very soon, in the days to come, we will be observing demounting of foam work, and above me there is the last bridging of the roofing of the second floor, and it might be closed very soon. To the left of me you see a wall, an anti-fire wall, you see that there is very little left to do, Just a couple more things, just a couple more scaffolds, and then it will be completed. And it will be connected to the upper part of metal constructions, and the anti fire wall will have been completed. And then we will be able to start work on enclosing barriers, enclosing barriers of the building. And then we will be able to proceed with anti fire treatment of the columns. Here is the main work which has been completed in the administrative building. And let's now move to another spot. We are now in the spot, the main one which we wanted to show you. We actually came to the construction site today to show you this very spot. Behind me there are metal constructions, there are metal sheets of the enclosing barriers. What has changed though? You see white lines. White lines are sandwich panels. Since Monday, employees of the company Estron Building have been mounting exterior sandwich panels. And the cameraman will show you that this side of the building 
actually has two white lines on all its length. These are the first two lines where sandwich panels have been mounted. And then other pieces of this pie, so to speak, will be mounted. And there are gutters and joints which have thermal insulation, which are covered with casings. A new stage of work has started, which means that every day we are getting closer and closer to getting to work inside the building. Now some organization issues are being solved. A big scope of work is going to happen in the future and we'll need to prepare a lot of engineers because very soon we will set utility lines and for that we will need our own specialists who will be controlling this work and then they will be maintaining and operating all those utility lines, equipment, communications and so on. So dear partners, dear investors, we have got to a different stage of work. And this is making us even closer to the moment when this facility will be commissioned. Every day we are getting closer and closer to that. Well, as of today the lag is quite big. There are objective reasons for that. Well, I could say that there is some part of our guilt in that. Maybe partly. But it was mostly due to obtaining permissions, different one-time problems, like changes in prices, coronavirus and the like. But despite all of that, construction is going on. And you can hear the noise of generators operating, because network is just not enough. And to heat the facility there are two diesel generators operating on the construction site, which provide heating of concrete. That's basically it. This is what I wanted to share with you, to show to you, to speak to you about. Unfortunately, today the format is quite short, because half of people are working remotely from home, some people are ill with flu, several employees are ill with COVID, so honestly, we are being affected by the same problems, just like the rest of society, just like other people. We are human and we are prone to illnesses, to diseases and to different problems and troubles. All of that affects us. And when we overcome them, one could say that, well, that could bring us joy. But actually, instead of that, you know, we find ourselves in a state of respite, of a pause of rest. You know, when things go smoothly, it makes us quite tense, because we are constantly expecting some more trouble and being involved in that active phase of troubleshooting and overcoming all barriers, all obstacles, all those problems, and so on. But we knew right from the start what we were getting into. Good luck to you all. See you very soon. Bye.